In this video, we've got a javelin. It's thrown from a height of 1.8 meters at an angle of 48 degrees to the horizontal with a speed of 26 meters per second. Find the time when the javelin is at its greatest height. OK, let's draw a diagram first to see what's going on. OK, so this javelin is thrown from a height of 1.8 meters. So that could be the 1.8 meters up and the javelin is thrown and it'll have some kind of trajectory looking like that. Now it's thrown uh, at an angle of 48 degrees to the horizontal. That's 48 degrees with a speed of 26 meters per second. Okay, so that's uh, the picture. So find the time when the javelin is at its greatest height. So when is it at that point? Okay, that's where we're going with this. So let's start off by writing down our equations, our vectors. So the acceleration, we've got no acceleration in the x direction. Uh, the only acceleration is in the vertical component, so minus 9.8j. Okay, let's integrate that. So we're going to introduce the initial velocity, initial uh, horizontal component, which is 26 cosine 48. That's I. And integrating here and adding in our uh, vertical component for velocity. So that would be 26 sine 48 as the constant. Uh, take away 9.8Tj. And then integrating again. Okay, now uh, the initial x um, displacement, horizontal displacement, is zero. Okay, so we've got 26t cosine 48 degrees i. Now, as for the initial vertical component, we are actually 1.8 meters up. So we're having a one extra 1.8 here. So 1.8 is the constant of integration. We've got 26t sine 48 and minus 4.9t squared uh, j. OK, so these are my equations uh, for the displacement, velocity, and acceleration. OK, so I want to find uh, the time at which the uh, javelin is at its greatest height. And that will be when the vertical component for the velocity is zero. So that is this piece here. So 26 sine 48 take away 9.8t is zero. So I want to rearrange and solve this equation. So 26 times sine of 48, and then divide that by 9.8, gets me 1.97, so 2.0 seconds to two significant figures, because the gravity is uh, in two uh, significant figures as well. Then, uh, what is the total horizontal distance? So, that's, so I'll keep that to one side. What is the total horizontal distance the javelin covers? OK, so the total horizontal distance the javelin covers is when it gets to here. OK, so we're looking for that length. That will be when the y, the vertical component of the displacement is 0. Here is the vertical component of the displacement. And so I want to put that equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute those, uh, this straight into my calculator to solve it. So into the quadratic solver. Minus 4.9 as the x in front of the x squared, coefficient of x squared. We've got 26 times sine 48, which is 19.321. And I've got the 1.8. And I get 4.03427 as one solution and minus 0 0.09105, etc. But that's unphysical. We can't have negative time. So that is the time at which the javelin hits the ground, okay, which is that point there. So I now need to substitute that 
into the X component, the horizontal component of the displacement. That'll tell me how far it's actually gone in the horizontal direction. So um, that would be uh, 26 times the 4.03427 times by the cos of 48. So 26 times 4.03427 times cos of 48. And we get 70.18579, so 70 metres to 2 sig fig. Okay, and there are the answers to those two problems.